Okay, I guess, um, how did the season go for you when you started thinking it's going to be you and Sean Davis and a big trade is made and you finish it and it's you and Mika Fitzpatrick? Oh uh, man, that's crazy. Um, Sean, with him last year, was just a good year just coming into my rookie year, uh, learning how to actually become a professional and he taught me a whole lot. And now with another guy that I trained with and, and went through the process with uh, in Minka, it was just, it was a different environment, but uh, definitely it was, it was great having both of them. What was the key for you guys communicating, getting on the same page and just getting a feel for each other? How, how do you do that when you have to do it quickly? Uh, really just talk as much as we can, uh, figure out how he plays, he figures out how I play, and we play uh, to each other's strengths. So um, he played more in the post, I played more down in the box, and I, I believe that was best for both of us. Did you have to do anything off the field to get that comfort level with each other as well? Uh, really just talk, uh, just communicate. We're roommates in the hotel, so we talked okay. and, <laughs> and tried to figure out how each other see different things. Uh, just pretty much see how, how we really think. And from there, every week we got a little bit better with each other. Uh, we learned how to communicate better, uh, what, what responses and everything everyone has. So definitely overall a good thing. Minka has that vibe that he's very quiet, very mm -hmm. studious. Is that accurate? He's very quiet. He's very <laughs> quiet. Um, he opened up more throughout. I guess he was trying to fill his way uh, throughout the season uh, mm -hmm. with the new guys, with the new team. But he's definitely a quiet guy. He's smart. Uh, he likes to joke around here and there, but he's quiet overall. What did he add to this defense when he, you know, had to jump in? Uh, the spark at the right time. At the beginning of the season, it was not the best. Everyone can see that it wasn't the best. Um, he came in at the right time, he contributed uh, perfectly, came in and caught some interceptions, made some big plays, and from there it just skyrocketed. The defense, we start coming into our own form, you can say, and, and from there we just kept on doing what we did. All the defensive guys that we've had a chance to sit down with said that this defense was fun and that yeah. the group was just tight-knit. It was um, fun. How, how do you create something that's fun, but you're also physical and you're playing fast and you're, you're doing what you guys set out to do? Now, really, everyone was just bought in. Uh, nobody cared who made the play. Nobody cared how the play was made. Um, it was all about going out there, stopping them, and trying to win the football game. Um, everybody, every day in practice, we were trying to catch interceptions, celebrating, dancing with each other, <laughs> uh, trying to just develop that camaraderie, you can say that bond, and it showed on the field. And our play uh, spoke for itself, and hopefully we can build off of that. Adding um, Terrell Austin into the mix of the coaching staff, how did he help you guys? I just remember back in training camp, the one thing was, you know, he made you guys use the jugs machine, but mm -hmm. what else can you tell us that he brought? Uh, he's just smart. Um, an overall good coach. Um, he wants you to go out there and make plays. He wants you to go out there and be the best that you can be on the field. Um, we had a whole lot of different packages. He put a lot of different guys out there because he saw small things in every one. So whoever he put out there, he trusted you to go do your job. And from there, he was just supportive with it. For you, being a rookie who played a ton of snaps mm -hmm. uh, into year two, it's always that jump coach Talman talks about. How do you self-evaluate what you were able to do this season? Uh, just continue to get better. Uh, keep growing. Uh, every year you're going to make some plays. Uh, you're going to miss some plays as well. So it's just like you just got to keep on developing, keep on getting better. And every year it's another jump. So more tackles or so this year, more mm -hmm. interceptions maybe next year. You just continue to develop and, and grow as a player. and and learn how to uh, become a pro even better. Is there anything you want to personally work on this off season or that coaches told you to work on, you know, before we start the process all over again with OTAs? Really just uh, continue to watch some film. I just learn the game more. I get my eyes in the right places. I just figure out how I can help the team. I talk to the guys as much as we can in our group chat <laughs> and just talk and see where everyone is at because uh, you want to keep that bond. You want to stay together uh, because at the end of the day, we're out there on the field together and we all have to feed off of each other.